Vlogging at 1,031. Ugh. Good morning. As you may be able to hear, this place has turned into a one man with a hammer madhouse, as happens around here. It doesn't take much. The sound carries pretty pretty well here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bounce on out. I'm gonna head over to meet with Richard. Today's the day of catching up on stuff. There's just a lot of work I gotta get done. I'm gonna see Richard, gonna see Kate, French Laura, and then there's the Game of Thrones night. The whole day is going to be kind of nuts. And what I wanted to focus on was the game. And specifically, one of the things that I haven't talked much about is the stickers. And the other thing is the riddles. I'm going to try and come up with a good example of a riddle for you. So you'll know basically what you're up against. In the meantime, let's get out of here before the hammering goes too crazy. Of course, get some cappy. <laughs> And away we go. Riddles, I think we should hit the riddles first and I need to look up an example of riddles. So the game has a brief recap in case you need the recap. It's kind of like a recommendations engine right now. Basically, it's a short list of some of my favorite places around town that have agreed to be a part of a scavenger hunt. So the idea would be that as you go along, you tell people you're playing the game, you collect little stickers, you collect enough stickers, you earn enough points, you turn those in for postcards at the end. And there are extra stickers you can buy that have fancy designs like this or this, or this. Really fun ones, just little die cut stickers. Like They're worth less points because you buy them instead of, you know, collect them, but you can still buy those and bump up your points for the postcards. And the other way to get points is by solving riddles, which might be a little bit too difficult. I'm not sure, I've heard mixed reports, but they're definitely not easy. And they require you to actually explore the city. Coffee was great. Chats are always good. I'm trying to figure out, <laughs> trying to figure out what to do for lunch now. On the game side, oh shoot, I didn't look up a, I didn't look up an example riddle. But like for example, Fringe is in the game. Great coffee shop. If you come here, tell them you're playing the game. They'll give you a little Frank sticker. Looks like this, and it, it's going to be worth two points. You can of course keep all these stickers if you want, and you're not interested in postcards. But if you do collect all those Franks, then you get postcards in the end. And uh, they've got a couple of other custom stickers, uh, which I won't tell you exactly which ones they have. But if you buy those, you can collect all nine. The tenth of which is on its way right now, and uh, and those are worth additional points as well. Well, where you actually convert those points into postcards is going to be at the Peloton or Bon Esprit, which we might end up at one of those two today. I, don't, I have no idea where we're going to end up today. We're, we're, our conversation probably is not going to lead us there. But yeah, that's that's the good start. Go in, and if nothing else, you get there's great coffee, good cookies here. If you just play the game, you'll get bonuses, you'll get stickers, all for having good coffee and good food. It's it's kind of a win no matter what you do. Speaking of good food, we need to go. We need to find lunch. We're just we're, we cannot decide what we want to eat for lunch. Right? Did you bon decide? Bon time. Bon time. We're going to get bon mi, which should come as no surprise because I'm with Richard. Okay, bonus riddles. These are the, the here's some examples for you. I'm gonna give you two examples that are kind of exclusive and one that is what you'll find if you just go to travelamock.com right now. You can download these riddles and start kind of thinking about them beforehand. But there are two that are exclusive. One was from the beta. If you did the beta survey, you should have the solution to this one already. The riddle is, goes like this. Louis XIV loved Italians a lot. He took all their mirrors and exchanged them for squat. In revenge, they returned to his pizza with knot and told them the best topping was the Blank. You gotta fill that part in. If you did the beta, you should know what goes in there. Otherwise, you'd probably never be able to figure it out. My patrons have this one. Both of these are worth 10 points each, so you get you get a postcard right off the bat. My patrons, it goes like this. A crocodile sat on Putnoff. He couldn't help eating the stuff that floated on by come higher low tide, simply too happy to be blank. That one's a limerick. So none of them really fit. The, they're all very different structures and style. Most of them rhyme. I think all of them rhyme, uh, but they, they all kind of hit different, uh, different meters and and you know, other, other terms. <laughs> Poetic terms. Other poetic term, insert poetic terms here. Last one, this is not, this definitely does not qualify as poetry at the end of the day. Last one, this is one that you can find if you went and downloaded the riddle sheet right now, you would see this and hopefully be able to figure this one out as you went. There are no tyrants living up in Paris anymore, even though this one emits a different kind of epic roar. If you're headed to the theater, they might allude to sex, but everything fits on the screen when watching at the 
Blank. If you know Paris well enough, you can probably figure that one out just, just on your own. Uh, but if you don't know Paris very well yet and you're on your way here, hopefully by wandering around, you will be able to figure it out. And then as you fill those in on your riddle sheet, you show them to either Bon Esprit or the Peloton as you're turning in your stickers. They'll give you more points. And hopefully you get more postcards out of it. Good luck. In the meantime, lunch. Grass or bench? I'm, I'm down for whatever you feel. Picnic season has officially begun. This is the best time to be in Paris. Ugh. I love Bon Me. We had a cage of meetings and now uh, she's got a craving for to? bubble tea, so. Richard's leading us to bubble tea, bubble tea central apparently. All right, all the meetings and bubble tea done. Had a good time talking. We're moving back in the direction of having a little bit more regularity and structure, which is really important, and uh, plotting and planning for the future is very important, and discussing all kinds of things that will come to light in time. I think I hit everything with the game today. I didn't show any physical examples of the stickers. I just gave them to Kate and forgot to show you, but uh, make sure to do that in the not too distant future. And uh, I gotta go meet Laura for a burr. Anywho, quick beer at the new BrewDog. BrewDog just opened up in the Marais, which is really exciting. So I'm gonna have a quick brew at BrewDog with Laura and then head over to watch Game of Thrones and see how disappointed I am in that. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for one of two more videos that I've left to create while I'm still in Paris. And then we'll see where the madness takes us from there. There's a lot of construction going on here.